Hi guys, this is Marilyn Girl. Um, I wanted to talk today about this phrase that I've been hearing black people say. Um, I've really just heard it maybe over the last five years or so. People have been saying it um, a lot more. And it bothers me every single time I hear it. It bothers me because I don't want to say it's not true. Black people are not a monolith. I don't want to say that that's not true. That is the reality. Black people are not all the same. And for the purposes of this conversation, when I say black people, I'm not referring to the whole... I'm not referring to all black people everywhere, all black people um, of African descent that are all over the world. I'm specifically talking about African Americans and and the African American experience. People in different countries, this may resonate with you, um, but I'm specifically talking about my experience growing up in the United States and, and what it's like being African American. So black, African-American, African-Americans um, are not a monolith. That is accurate. But it's, it's true, but it's not true. Black people in America, it, there is a variety, okay? There is diversity in how we are. That is true. We are not all the same. We don't all um, necessarily like exactly the same music. We don't necessarily vote for the same people. We don't support all of the same causes. We have different views. We are not cookie cutter. We're not the same. That is true. The problem I have with that saying is... It, it's true in a sense, but when we say that, I feel like that's something we say to white America because we don't like being stereotyped. But the reality is we uphold the very stereotypes that we say we are offended by being associated with. We uphold those stereotypes. And we kick people out of the black community who don't follow those stereotypes that we say we're against. So there's hypocrisy there. On the one hand, yes, it's a factual statement that not all black people are alike, not all African Americans are alike. But when we say that, it's just very disingenuous because within the black community, the black community is is very, very narrow in how we define blackness and what is acceptable for black people to do what are acceptable thoughts what are acceptable behaviors what is acceptable is very narrow and anyone who who ventures outside of that and says okay I like these I like these parts of my culture and I also like this I also like that we kick those people out of the community and, and I won't say we, I'm saying we because I'm black, so I'm a part of the community. Um, and so I'm putting myself in that by saying we, but the reality is it's not me. I don't do that. I am one of those people who gets kicked out of the black community. I have been kicked out of the black community. Um, I am always being like constantly in a state of being kicked out of the black community. It's, it started when I was in elementary school and it just continued on all the way up constantly being told you are not black enough you are you're really white you're an oreo 
Um, and I'm sure that there are people who, when they hear me speak, um, they're like, she's not black. I, this does not sound like the voice of a black person. Um, and I hear, I hear, I hear why they think that I hear, I hear why they think that. But if you have this voice, if you, if you sound like me, you get kicked out of the black community for that alone. Like there is a, there is a very long list of reasons why you can get kicked out of the black community. And it's as simple as your voice isn't black enough. There, there is a, there is a specific kind of voice that you're supposed to have. If you don't have it, you're kicked out of the black community. If you know, there is a, there's a specific type of music that you're supposed to listen to. There is a specific, there's it's a very specific way to be black. So for black people to get on TV, to get on social media, to write articles, um, telling white people, black people are not a monolith. Black people are not a monolith. But that's a lie. That's a lie. It, it's a lie. It's a lie. African-Americans even if technically we are not all the same, we want to be. The expectation within the black community is that we are a monolith. What we don't want is for white people to call us out on being a monolith. We don't want white people to acknowledge exactly what they're seeing. We don't like that. I remember, I'm sure we all remember, um, and this is not a political post, okay? So don't, like, don't misunderstand where I'm going with this next comment. I remember um, everybody got mad at Joe Biden when he said, if you're not going to vote for me, you ain't black. (laughs) People People were like, no, Joe Biden should not have said that. That is so wrong. Black people are not a monolith. There's black people that are all across the political spectrum. And I feel like a little bit, yes, technically that's correct. There are black people that are Democrat. There are black people that are um, Republican. There's, yes, there's black people that are all over the place, okay? But I do feel like there is some gaslighting that's going on from the black community when when white people simply repeat what we have been saying when we have been saying you know if you vote republican you're a sellout if you vote republican you're not really black if you vote for donald trump you're 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 canceled you're out of you know you're not black anymore real black people don't vote for anything other than democrat we have been saying that for decades okay and white people have been listening i i mean do we think that when we do we think that white people don't see the stuff that we do <laughs> that they don't that they don't hear the stuff that we say white people have been listening okay they know how we they know how we think we, we're pu- we publicly share our views okay They've been listening to us for decades say. They've been listening to us shame black people who don't vote Democrat. And it's not it, it's not just politics. Like I said, this isn't about politics. This isn't this isn't me complaining uh, about politics. But that's just one example of a white person who has been paying attention to black culture they've been paying attention to how black people think to the fact that we cancel black people who don't vote democrat who don't fall in line with the narrow view of blackness that we have and even this white person joe biden is saying if you don't vote for me you ain't black oh don't get mad at joe biden for saying that i mean i know a lot has happened since he said that and we're all we've we've moved past that i just pulled that example I just pulled that example as an example, you know, um, don't get mad at Joe Biden because he, he said exactly what we've been saying. 
he said exactly what black people have been saying now he's gonna get policed because he's a white person and so he's not allowed to say that but we say it we say it if somebody says i'm a republican oh i i'm a trump supporter i'm a whatever look and i i should leave trump out of this trump is a trump i'll leave trump out of this this is that's a totally different thing but my point is if you don't follow the script and there and and that there is a script there is a right way to do blackness in America and if you don't follow that we kick people out of the community and white people have been hearing us and they've been seeing us do that and we do it we 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 do it with everything we do it with music we do it with we do it with ev- like with everything if you do certain things as a black person you're not considered black if you don't do certain things as a black person you're not considered black we have a long scroll a long list of things that if you're black you're not allowed to do them if you're black are you allowed to go hiking if you if you, can you swim like the expectation is that we can't swim we don't do anything we we can't do anything that's for white people that that's for white people we can't do that if you do that you're white if you listen to that music you're white we have been broadcasting to the world hey world there is one correct way for african americans to be black there's one way and anybody who doesn't follow that way they're not really black so white people come around and they start saying that stuff oh if you don't do this you ain't black where did they get that from from us they got it from us and so now we're gone i feel like the whole black people are not a monolith is a gaslighting campaign to I mean, yes, it's speaking to the reality that black people, that there is diversity within African Americans. But do you know what we have to do to make that true? In order for black people are not a monolith to be true, we have to go collect all of those black people that we kicked out of the community and and bring them back and then showcase them look look we have different people look we have people that are this and people that are that people that listen to country music and people that listen to classical now we don't all listen to rap we don't all do this i'm like please you kicked these people out of the community and now you want to hold them up to show that we're diverse please stop 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 you don't like us you don't accept us you don't accept these people but when it's convenient for you now you want to tell people black people are not a monolith we're different please please the damage has been done we're being stereotyped because we are doing certain things and then we are upholding that stereotype as the standard for blackness and then we go tell white people oh black people are not a monolith you know who we don't ever say that to we never tell each other we're not a monolith we never say to other black people hey i want you to know it's okay for you to like classical music it's okay for you to like, you know, any other, you know, all any other type of music. If you don't like rap, that's okay. If you don't want to listen to Beyonce, if you don't want to listen to um, any group, whether if you like a group or if you don't like a group, if you, it's okay because we are not a monolith. You can be black and like different types of music you can be black and dress however you want you can be black and do your hair however you want you can be black and you know have a different accent 
You can't, we don't tell each other that. We don't give each other the freedom to have diversity of thought. We don't have the, we don't give each other that, the freedom of individuality. But then we get mad at white people for not recognizing our individuality. We reject individuality. We kick those people out of the community. We don't nurture that. We don't say, hey, this is, this is beautiful. This is, this is who we are. You can be black and you can like all of this stuff. No, no. It's to the point where if you like certain things, you have to decide, okay, am I going to acknowledge that I like this stuff? Because if I acknowledge that I like this stuff, I'm going to lose my black heart. I'm going to get kicked out of the community. Or you, you, you just don't tell people. You're like, yeah, I like this song. I'm not going to tell people I like this song. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to acknowledge that openly. No, I'm not doing that. I, cause I know how my people will react. I know how they will respond. You know, D- does that sound to you like we are not a monolith? Does that sound to you like we're not cookie cutter? I just think it's, it's, it's very hypocritical. I think it's BS. I, and it, 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 it gets under my skin every time I'm watching TV and some, and I'm not hating on college educated. I don't have, don't misunderstand what I'm saying, but some like college educated journalist or author or sociologist or political analyst gets on TV and tells, you know, white America, we're not a monolith. I'm like, you lie, you lie, you lie, you lie. You lie. Let me tell you how this works. Let me tell you. Who gets to decide who is black and who is not black? Who is Afri- who is African American? Who's really black and who's not? You know who gets to decide that? The people that live in the cities. The black people that live in urban areas they decide what is really black and they decide for the whole country they just I don't know who I don't know who gave them that microphone I don't know why that is the case but they decide what real blackness is now there's black people that live in the city there's black people that live in the suburbs there's black people that live in in rural areas there is a variety uh, within blackness but it's not accepted what is accepted as true blackness is the urban black experience and you will hear people say remember where you came from or you forgot where you came from when people say that, they're talking, I mean, they're not talking about Africa, okay? They're not talking about that. Um, and they're not talking about, okay, your ancestors were in the South and like, they're not talking about that. Remember where you came from always means remember that your family used to live in the inner city. And maybe now you live in the suburbs or now you live out in, you know, in the rural area. Now you live in this ritzy neighborhood. Now you've, you know, but don't forget that you came from the inner city. Don't forget that that's who you really are. And don't forget that that is the heart of real blackness, that inner city experience. So... Don't think that you're any different. You know, don't don't forget what blackness really is and who you really are just because you live out in the suburbs. Don't think you're better than us. Don't think any of that. That that's who controls 
the the conversation about black america black people that live in the city whatever the city is the inner city in any state that's who's dictating for the for all of black people what music we're allowed to listen to how we're allowed to dress how we have to speak and even the black people who are you know they're college educated and maybe they wherever they decide to finally live they have to make sure that they're still paying homage to and that they're still bowing down to the demands of the urban inner city black experience because if you if you veer too much outside that they're like oh you forgot who you are you're not you know you're 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 one of them now you're white now you're white now there's a there's a lot of things that can cause someone to be considered white right or an oreo there's a lot of things like i said how do you talk how do you dress you can be considered be sorry about that i just got a phone call (laughs) um no you can be considered um you can be considered white um for for a lot of things for something as simple as getting good grades in school like that's a white thing right like does that even make sense and and when people say stuff like that I, I'm like, do you hear what you're saying right now? Because I know when they're making this long list of things that black people can't do, shouldn't do, I know they're not really thinking like they're limiting the experience of black people and what black people can do. I know that they're not thinking that when they're policing blackness. They're just like, well, this is just what we do. You know, this is how we are. This is what black people do. We don't swim. We don't hike. We don't go into the woods. We don't we don't do anything, right? And that's that's who we are. But when they say something like when when you're getting good grades, you're being too white. You're studying, you're doing your homework. I remember there was this one time I was in school and I like raised my hand in class. And there were other black kids in school that were like, "Oh, she trying to be white." I'm like, "Wait, raising my hand in class is being white?" Like this <laughs> This is the mentality that is in the black community. This is the mentality that comes. This is what, this is what we have to deal with. This is the mentality that we have to deal with in the black community. You know, I mean, and now these are, these, these are things that children say. These are not things that adults say, right? But this is the experience that, like I said, I started getting kicked out of the black community when I was in elementary school. And it and it just continued, you know. First it was, you know, we don't like the way you talk. You sound like you're from the county. You sound like you're from the county. <laughs> you know, we can tell that you are not a real black person. We can tell you're not from the city. You sound like someone that hangs out with all those white people and you're not really you're not really black you know like there's no such thing as having different accents that doesn't exist that doesn't exist (laughs) that doesn't exist you know i i think it's interesting when i see people of other races of other other ethnic groups and they move to different countries and they just pick up that accent. If you weren't looking at them, if you if you didn't see a video, you would not know. You wouldn't know that you're you're hearing someone who's Indian or Nigerian or I don't know, Chinese or or whatever. Um your accent you, you're going to pick up the accent of the people that are around you. And that's just life. But does that mean that those people aren't really Indian? Does that mean that those people aren't really Chinese? Does that mean that those people aren't really Nigerian? Like, are you... 
or are you not really black? Yeah, because because it's because in America we don't say you're not really African American. That's not the saying. The saying is not even though this is what they mean, the saying is not African Americans are not a monolith. The saying is black people are not a monolith. In America, you get kicked out of blackness. Because in America, the black people that live in the city, they're not just speaking for American black people. They're speaking for blackness. All of it all blackness <clears throat> they're not there you're not really african-american you're not one of us maybe you can go over there with the nigerians maybe you can go over there with with the kenyans maybe maybe somebody else will take you in but we african-americans were rejecting you no it's you're not black we're kicking you you don't belong to us maybe white people will have you maybe the asians want you but black people as a whole we don't want you. We are rejecting you. What is that? What? And and so we do this. Everyone knows we do this. We think that, what are we, in a vacuum? That we have these conversations in a closed room with just other Black people and the Asians aren't listening, the white people aren't listening, Latinos don't hear it. Everybody knows we think this way. Everybody knows we act this way. There is a saying, lose your black card. That saying exists because we want to be a monolith. That saying exists because urban black America expects us to be a monolith. They expect cookie cutter black people to come out of the inner city. And that is the only kind of black that is allowed to exist. So I'm going to need people to, I'm going to need people to acknowledge this because I am so tired of, I'm so tired of being gaslit. I'm so tired of black people claiming that we have diversity of identity, that we have individuality within the community. When you know good and well, we don't allow that. We don't allow diversity in the black community we don't we don't you want to prove me you want to prove me wrong you want to prove me wrong I don't I don't ever want to hear anyone say you are the whitest black girl I've ever met I don't want to I don't want anyone to ever challenge my blackness again I don't I don't want any no one's blackness should ever be challenged again now I will make an exception I will make an exception for people who intentionally, for their own personal gain, sell out black people. I will make an exception for those people. Everyone who who disagrees with you is not an Uncle Tom. Everyone who has a different opinion is not an Uncle Tom. Everyone who likes different music is not an Uncle Tom. But there are people who actually get paid to to lie and say things like, you know, racism is not an issue in this country. Racism is not an issue. It's really not. You know, there, there are people who get paid... I don't know who they get paid by, but there are black people that get paid to promote racist ideas for the entertainment of racist white people. It makes those it makes racist white people feel comfortable to hear a black person downplay those issues and say no this is not a problem. This is not, this is not a problem. Racism is not really a problem. Yeah, racism is a problem. There's people being killed in our country. There's people that, yeah, it's a problem. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. I'm not, and there's, and there's no white person paying me to get on TV or a stage and gaslight black people and say, 
oh, black people aren't really facing any problems in this country. You know, black people, there's no, I'm not, no. Those people, if you are genuinely selling, like literally you're getting paid, Gen- genuinely selling out your people. I have no problem with those people getting canceled. If you are actually doing um, damage to black people and you don't even care, you're not concerned about black people. You're not, you're not concerned about, you're not concerned about our well-being. You're just concerned about you getting paid. There are some black people who will sell out all black people and say crazy stuff, say racist stuff for a paycheck. I'm not one of those people. And most black people who are enjoy different things and don't fit that narrow script, they're not sellouts. They're not Uncle Tom's. They're not like that. But lots of people get lumped in with that group. And I do and we do need to make a distinction. So I, if somebody wants to say, okay, those people aren't really black. Those people are, you know, like, I don't mind canceling people who are actually sellouts, but that term gets overused is my point. It gets overused. So what, yeah. So what I want is for black people to stop saying black people are not a monolith. I don't, (laughs) I don't think anyone's going to stop saying that, honestly, um, because I know how we are. We, we don't, we don't like to be stereotyped. There's no group that likes to be stereotyped and we don't like to be stereotyped. We don't like when black people think we're all alike. Uh, Excuse me. We don't like when white people think we're all alike. We don't like that. So we have two options. We either need to stop saying black people are not a monolith or we need to stop policing blackness and upholding that monolithic view, that monolithic standard. Because right now we're talking out of both sides of our mouth and we're doing it just as a matter of convenience. Like on the one hand, we're being stereotypical all day. Hey, you better listen to this music. You better dress like this. You better talk like this. You better do your hair like this. But then we go on TV and we tell white people that we're not all alike. What we what which is it? Which is it? We can't do both. We're lying to white people. We're gaslighting white people who know how our community is, who know that we have a narrow view of blackness. And we're gaslighting all of the black people that have been kicked out of the community, that have been disowned, that have been rejected. All of the black people who have been told that they're not black enough, that you don't meet this urban black standard. You are not black. Because there is one stereotypical way of doing blackness and you're not that. You're gaslighting those people. It's like, well, which is it? Am I, am I, am I in the community or am I out of the community? Oh, we're not a monolith. Okay. So I'm, so I'm back in now. So I have my, so I have my black card back now. We're allowing diversity. What, or it's just, this is just something that we say to, to white people when, when we don't like that they noticed that we are a monolith. Which, which is it? Which is it? What, I mean, what do you, how do you think we should move forward? Should we stop saying we're not a monolith or should we stop being hypocrites? If we're going to be a monolith, if we're going to uphold the one type of blackness standard, then we need to stop saying it and we just need to own up to it. Yeah. Yeah. We police our own. Yeah, we only allow this one way of speaking. We only allow, we don't even let people get good grades in school because we'll bully them for it. We don't, we don't, we don't like, no. Uh, Are are we going to own up to it? 
are we gonna be like yeah white people you you read us correctly we we all vote democrat and we crap on people who don't yeah you read us correctly we all think the same way and anyone who doesn't think the same way they're out of the group they're out of the camp you can have them latinos can have them but we don't want them they're not one of us so yeah you're right you're right we're gonna stop saying it or are we or are are we going to start telling each other you have the freedom to be yourself you have the freedom to express yourself you have the freedom to do whatever it is you want and not worry about people taking your black heart you can do whatever you want you the same level of individuality that white people have you're allowed to have that same level of individuality without being rejected by your own people so which direction are we going to go i'm just curious i'm just curious because i'm tired of these i'm tired of these people getting on tv and writing articles gaslighting the gaslighting has to stop so you can let me know what you think in the comments but i i i needed to say something i needed to say something i really didn't so all right Peace out. Have a good day. So I, I wanted to record this sort of like epilogue to my, to this video about black people are not a monolith because I wanted to just clarify one thing, just in case somebody is confused by what I'm saying in my video. I just wanted to clarify when I say we need to stop saying black people are not a monolith. I acknowledge, and I, I did that repeatedly in the, in the video, that, that that is actually factually correct, that, that there is diversity within the African-American community. And so there's nothing wrong with telling people, hey, you know, we're not all alike. We do have variety. We do have individual personalities. You know, we... We're unique people, just like every other group of people. We are unique. The issue that I'm having is who is saying that? If you are someone who gatekeeps blackness, if you police people when they, you know, sort of step out of line, if they like a type of music that you don't think black people should like, if they um, don't like a certain artist or a certain type of music that you think all black people should like, whatever it is, if you are gatekeeping, if you have ever taken away someone's black card, if you've ever told someone you're not really black, you're an Oreo, you know, you're, you're really white, if, you, if, if that is a mindset that you hold to, that someone's blackness is dependent upon anything other than their heritage. If you think that, that someone's blackness can change based on what music they listen to, what food they eat, how they dress, how they talk, how they do their hair, what, you know, a hundred other things, then you are the person who should not be saying black people are not a monolith because you are perpetuating the stereotype of what a, a black person, an African-American person is and should be. And you are, you are upholding that standard. And then you are using that measuring stick against other black people and, and telling them you belong, you don't belong, you belong, you don't belong. So it is hypocritical for you to then write an article or get on TV and tell the world, specifically tell white people, that we are not all alike. When you know good and well that you expect all black people to be alike. But if you are someone who you don't care how black people are, you accept, you know, you, 
you're not going to tell somebody you're not really black because they like something you don't like or because they swim or because they hike or because they ski or because they do something that's on the list of things that's prohibited for black people to do. If you're not somebody that's gatekeeping and policing blackness, then I mean, you are allowed to genuinely say, you know, we're not all alike because you accept the differences within people and you don't kick people out of the community for that reason. And if you yourself are one of those people like me who, you know, you like a variety of things and you're like, hey, I'm not rejecting my blackness. I'm not hiding my blackness. I'm, I'm perfectly fine as I am being a black woman or, or maybe in your case, a black man. But um, I like a variety of things and I'm not going to let people put me in a box and tell me what I can't do, where I can't go, what I can't listen to, what I can't watch. I'm not going to let people tell me that. Then it makes sense for you or me to say, hey, by the way, we are not all alike. There's variety. And you're drawing attention to the fact that you're different. We're, 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 you are, you're somebody, we're all individuals. And this is what it looks like when a black person does not perfectly line up against the stereotype. So it makes sense for, for those types of people to say, hey, we're not all alike. But either way, I, we do need to acknowledge that there is an expectation within the black community that we all fall in line with this one way of being black. Um, so yeah, I just, I could, I could just foresee after the video, someone saying, but I, but I'm just telling people the truth, but I'm just telling people that we're not all alike. I'm just telling people that, you know, I like listening to different music or I like eating different food or I like what, whatever that I like. And so are you saying that I can't say that? No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. And so that's why I wanted to just clarify really what this is about. This is about hypocrisy, not you explaining that you're allowed to be an individual. So I hope that clarifies things. Um, and that, uh, yeah, everyone understands what, what I meant by that. All right. Peace.